Hi, my name is Eric Torkia. I'm the executive partner and analytics practice lead at Technology Partners Limited. Um, today, we're going to do a simple example. We are going to compare four of the top Monte Carlo packages on the market to build a very simple additive model. What's an additive model? An additive model is we're going to just take, uh, uh, for example, like a budget, a series of items, apply distributions to them, sum them up, and uh, uh, see how many steps it took. So the packages we're going to be working with are Oracle Crystal Ball 11.1.2.1, Palisades at Risk Standard 5.7, Vos Model Risk Standard 4.0, and Risk Solver by Frontline uh, version 11. Essentially, we'll look at the total steps to complete certain processes. Um, we'll comment a bit on how easy it is to use these tools and move around. And um, how, how is this stuff organized? We have created a, um, a series of questions and uh, we'll go through them uh, one by one. So if you have any questions, you know uh, you, about this presentation feel free to give us a call or uh, visit us at technologypartners.com or crystal ball services thank you very much The model that we were talking about here, so imagine we, this is a budget, so we have uh, test items 1 through 10, and we went to our experts and they gave us an estimate that it would be anywhere between 7 and 38 million, with a most likely of 17. And they did these estimates for all of these items. At the end, we're going to sum them up. <coughs> and uh, do a, run a quick simulation and look at which one of these projects are driving the answer. And we're going to do this for all the packages. And at the end, we're going to just take a few seconds and make a note of this. Okay. So now we're going to start with crystal ball. First step, so because we have to count them, is to pick a distribution. That's one step one. Step two is to assign a name. Step three, a minimum. Step four, a most likely value and step 5 a maximum we hit enter so, so we could say 6 I guess everything looks okay so 6 steps just make a note of that okay over here we want to copy this so how many steps to copy so the first so step 1 copy. Step 2, select the range. And step 3, paste. That's three steps to copy. Then, of course, we need to do a little add additive model here. So sum and take all these cells. And how many steps? So we Step one, define. Step two, select name. Step three, hit OK. So three steps for that. And the color coding is automatic, so zero steps. And we'll come and, s and we'll see what happens for this last part after the simulation. And we set a thousand trials run. So we just ran a thousand. So we have the total and then we can see what the 
90th percent confidence interval is at 90%. All right. And then we wanted, so that was fairly straightforward. So what if we wanted to see the other things, so let's see, we can look at the statistics, so we can switch like that, and then the percentiles. And we can set the split view with percentages and percentiles. So we're all set. And then if we want to do sensitivity analysis, well, we just hit that and all these so we can see that everything's named properly. We're looking at contribution variance, so why don't we put it in here? Rank correlation. Okay, and it still matches up 0.44. Perfect. Nice clean chart. So it was basically everything was accessible through the forecast chart. And we're looking at one step here to create and then how to create. So if you don't know it, can't give it 100% uh, points, but for the most part, we would say that the, well, we didn't count the clicks, but um, we would say that an average of, uh, to get this, is one click. Or actually, yeah, each took one click. And since it took one click, two. There we go. So the next package will be. Um, model risk. So I'll be right back.